Bambini Talk. Bambini, Bambini, come on. B, R, B, the day the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. I welcome you to Ghana's finest children's TV show on your favorite TV station. Being the show is very educative, informative and entertaining. My name is Mercy. This week we are discussing something very interesting. How should a relationship be between a parent and a child? Yes, and our lovely guest is here to tell us more, to educate us as usual. But let me remind you of our discussion happening on the 2nd of July at Cape Coast. You can see the tickets are here. They are ready. We are giving you fried rice and chicken. You have snappy snacks. You have um, drinks, planet drinks. And also, you get a chance to see the crocodile in the pond. So bring your swimming suit and then your selfie stick. Yes, boss Matthew said bring selfie sticks so that we all take pictures. So it's going to be exciting. Come one, come all. It's at a cool 80 cities. We're giving you fried rice and all that I said. This program is proudly sponsored by Planet Drinks, your world of taste, and Snappy Snack. Before I introduce to you our guest, we'll go for a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Mon ami, j'ai ma j'ai ma snappies. Il est chop mes snappies. Laisse-moi tranquille, je sais pas de quoi tu parles. I beg. Mmh. I can hear some crunchy sounds. Down there. Snappy snacks, full of nutrients. Snappy snacks, and you jet, jet. How well do you know your history? I'm here again, and it's about the Bambini fan excursion to too many places in Cape Coast. And I'm here with two lovely presenters, and they'll tell a bit more about the excursion. So over to you. Okay, so the excursion is coming off on the 2nd July 2018. It's a holiday, yes. We are going to have fun. You get to swim for free. You're going to touch your crocodile for free. You're going to eat for free. You're going to enjoy the Wi-Fi for free. Full aircon for free. There are so many things, yes. So just don't stay home on the 2nd of July. Grab a ticket for a cool 80 cities. If you know you have 4 siblings, 6 siblings, 10 siblings, come with them. Mummies, aunties, uncles. Brothers, what cousins. cousins, and you know, you're going to touch a crocodile for free. The crocodile won't harm you. Free, you're going to get jollof rice, fried rice. If you want salad, you'll get you're going to get drinks from Planet, and then you are going to get snappy snacks. Don't forget to come with your swimsuit because you are going to swim. In fact, you're going to swim with us. What do you think? You have the free mask, too. Yeah, yeah. it's for free. You, you get to take pictures with us, you know, the sellers, you get to take pictures with us. So call 0558-218548 to register now. Let's go and have some fun. Bambini yeah! Welcome back. And then let me give you a brief info about our celebrity or our guest for today. She's Celestine Donko. She's a gospel musician. She's married to Mr. Emmanuel Donko with three beautiful kids. She's straight from the Volta region and she's here to tell us and to discuss, to teach us more about how a child should relate or communicate with her parents. You're welcome to the Bambini Show. Thank you. You're looking so <coughs> beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so these are the kids you are working with today. Okay, kids, how are you? Yeah. Fine, thank you. Okay. All right. Oh, lovely so to be Celestine, here. So, Celestine, we yeah. want you to tell us a little about yourself. 
and also a topic for discussion today. What do you think about it? Okay, um, as you already said, I'm a gospel artist. I'm a lady evangelist. I do evangelism work and mission work. And um, basically, I, I work for God. A topic for discussion. What okay. do you think about it? Okay, so the topic is parenting. Mm -hmm. And a parent is any man or woman who kind of mothers or fathers a child. All right. Yes. Or a, a father and a mother. Okay. That is classical parent. So they will tell us what they want to be in the future. Okay. They ask their questions okay. and then you answer. So let's start from you. Hey. I want to uh, give medicine after that. Do law. Medicine so and then after that you do law. Yes. Okay. As we have a lot to learn. Mm. My name is Iveta Pierre, and I would like to be a lawyer and a pediatrician. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Are you doing double that kind in this school? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm Paula Pia Kubi and I would like to be an evangelist and an actress. Wow. Beautiful. Mm. Okay. Yes, Lisa, and I would like to be a gynecologist. Gynecologist. Wow. I'm Janice Emi here again and I want to be a psychologist and a lawyer. Hey. Wow. Double, double. Okay. And I'm white and I want to be a pastor. I want to be a pastor. pastor. Hey. Jedediah, I love that. <laughs> Wow, trust me, I have wonderful kids here and I'm enjoying myself already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are doing so good. Okay, so we are starting with our questions. Okay. Who someone to be a parent? What kind of somebody? someone to be a parent? Very good question. Anyone who has the heart to love children, okay. the heart to take care of children, and the passion to impact children qualifies to be a parent. Thank yes. you. All right. Thank so, you very much. I have not given birth though, mm -hmm. but I have adopted somebody's child and I'm taking care of Am I a parent? Yes, you are. I would like to know what kind of relationship should transpire between a parent and a child. The okay. best form of relationship should be a very friendly and honest relationship. Mm -hmm. You have to be very honest with your parent. Okay. And your parent must be honest with you. Mm -hmm. For instance, when you want to know something, like really, like you want to understand something, a parent must not tell you a lie. Next question. <laughs> um, I would like to know if you have any projects or any news on parenting. Any, any project? Any upcoming projects? Or any news. news on parenting? News. Okay, because I'm a minister and I'm an evangelist, um, I walk run with this scripture that says, Train up your child in the way you should go, and when it grows, it will not depart from Submit. it. It means that if you're a parent and train your child in the fear of God and in the worship, God, worship of God, the child will grow up and not depart from it. So I'm coming up with a worship, family worship program in somewhere in December. We call it extravagant worship. And I want all parents to make a date with that in December and come with their children as well. Most of the time when parents go to church and they leave kids at home, you are teaching the kids to stay home mm. and not like church. So this is what I have in the pipeline. It's coming wow. in this episode. Please, who is an authoritative parent? Mm. Mm. An authoritative parent yes. is a parent mm -hmm. who wants to always have the final say. Mm. When that parent say, sleep. And there, sleep. It means that you can do nothing else but sleep. Sleep. Jedediah, hmm. eat indomie. <laughs> Mommy, I want pizza. Eat indomie. <laughs> Mommy, I want cake. I said eat indomie. Nothing else but indomie. indomie. So that's an authoritative parent who does not give the child a say in anything. Some of the negative impact of authoritative parenting is that you would you would end up having a very consecutive child. Mm. A child who, who is so reserved mm -hmm. and coiled in within them and they will not be able to express themselves 
express what is going on in their mind and their thoughts. They are always quiet. They coil in with them because they have always been shut up. You know? Yeah, so that is... Yes. So when mommy is coming and the, the, you hear the horn of the car, baby, baby. Mommy's coming, mommy's coming. Mommy's coming. Mommy's coming. Even some will forcefully go and sleep <laughs> and be opening their eyes like this. <laughs> Meanwhile, they are not really sleeping. They are just trying to uh, hide from uh, uh, but we call them kai, kai, kai. So it is not the best form of parenting, but then it is necessary in that situation where we have a very, very stubborn child. child. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Your question. So I was wondering, how should parents relate to their children during difficult times? Difficult okay. times. Mm -hmm. How should parents relate to their children during difficult times? I, 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 I suggest that parents should really be close to their children during difficult times. But I would, I would like you to give me an example of a difficult time. For a, a child. For a child. Okay, for instance, if um, the breadwinner of the family it's not bringing uh, or it's not working mm -hmm. and it's not bringing uh, any money home mm -hmm. and the mom too is not working mm -hmm. how so it puts pressure yes. on the child i mean how should parents and uh, relate to children when they are facing difficult time all right i get you that so yes um, when a parent is going through difficult time like a parent is has been uh, is not employed mm -hmm. is looking for a job and is not getting is going through their own frustration at level of parents i think that they should not allow these problems to affect the child okay a child is a child a child must remain in that world mm. of feeling that everything is fine because that is how god wants children to think you understand that? Yeah. Shababu said that, Suffer not the little children to come unto me, for this is the kingdom of heaven. Even the Bible wants adults like us to become like a child. You know, which means we should play about and feel free all the time. So, parents should not, should find a way not to involve or burden their children okay. with the problems they are going I'm through. Sorry. Because it affects their learning. And at that stage of their life, we don't want the child's learning process to be affected. It's very, very important. Okay. As a musician, particularly, how is your relationship between you and your children? Like I said, my children, my children are my friends. Oh, okay. When I go, I do not have a house. Mm -hmm. So when I go, it is just me and them. We talk when we are cooking in the kitchen. I make sure we cook together. When I'm making stew, I make sure one is shredding the tomatoes, one is doing this. We are all together. And as we are cooking, we talk, we discuss. They, they, they crack jokes mm. and they, you know, they, are, they feel free. So what would you suggest as um, um, a very effective communication method between parents and their children? As much as possible, parents should try to be honest. I'm insisting on honesty. Honesty. Because... When, even when you are on the phone and the child is around and you are lying mm -hmm. as a parent, you are teaching the child how to, to lie. lie. And you, 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 a child will grow up not trusting you. Mm. And you, you will not connect how. how. How come my child doesn't trust me? Because your child constantly hears you lying on phone. You know, you are home, a parent is at home and the, the, the parent is saying, Oh, I'm in the market. Oh, mm -hmm. it's raining every. <laughs> <laughs> and the child is listening. The child feels it's okay, you know, to lie, and and the child will adopt that. And and also as parents, when your child does something wrong, I don't know if it's because of my sociological background. I study sociology and a bit of psychology, so I try to understand why the child did that. Children. Respect your parents and parents don't be too authoritative. Yeah. Even though it's good at some particular point, depending on the child's character. Mm -hmm. But let's be free, let's have fun with our children. Yeah. But we want another song so that we can move before we go bigger. for the break. She said bigger. Hey. Okay, so I'll say bigger. How can I 
I describe? How can I describe? A mighty God like you. Hmm. You are bigger than any other God. Oh, what a privilege to worship at your throne. You are bigger than any other God. I need you to sing, come on. How can I say? How can I describe a mighty God like you? You are bigger than any other God. Oh, say, oh, what a privilege to worship at your throne. You are bigger than any other God. It's Bambini Show, your number one children's TV show. Yes, we are going for an excursion. So, Charlie, what do you have to tell them? Guys, the excursion is going to be hot and hotter. So, we are going to Hans Cottage. We are going to have fun. It's going to be a blast. There are going to be a lot of free, 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 free things. If you know what I'm talking about. Mercy! Over to you. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting and exciting. For me, the place I love most is the crocodile. Yes. So you see, we are not giving you a crocodile that is drawn on a wall or something. No. It's a live crocodile in the crocodile pond. It's going to be exciting. Tickets are ready. You can see. It's 80 CD. We are giving you fried rice and chicken. I always hit on the fried rice and chicken. You understand me? Oh, Hillary. True or false? True. Okay. So <laughs> tell us more. What do we have? We have free Wi-Fi. That's the free free snappy snacks free drinks oh. free pictures oh. what again swimming no. bring your swimming trunks because you're gonna swim your selfie sticks <laughs> cheese so call 0558 to register now let's go and have some fun Welcome back and we are really enjoying ourselves here. There is no other God than our God, yes. Today Celestine would <clears throat> make us dance and already we are enjoying ourselves here. <laughs> Celestine, we've learned a lot, mm -hmm. but to prove that we've really learned, our kids will tell you what, what you, you learned. Yes, okay, so more proof to actions. Celestine. I've also learned that in spite of the fact that we are children and yes, we need to play and and laugh around with our parents. We should also learn to have some respect and instill discipline in ourselves. Great. Okay. I've learned about the kind of relationship with we should have with our parents, and I've also learned that it's, even though um, being an authoritative parent is good, it also has its bad side. Okay. Great. 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 Shots. I'm happy. I've learned that we should hey. be honest. <laughs> That's my lawyer and my, my what? Neurocentric. Neuro <laughs> I've learned that our parents should be honest with us so that it doesn't affect the future generation. Great. Okay. Great. Celestine, Great. are you satisfied? Great. I am so happy. Because mm. they really brought the real, real points out. Okay. Great kid. Please give yourself a shout out. Okay, so the bambini class. class. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
Yes. Okay, so should we go again? Yes. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. So we have Snappy Snack exercise book here. Colorful, very nice. And this is from Planet. So you have your pencil, your rule, your eraser. And then they're saying we should give each child one. Yeah, you're welcome. And then we cannot leave our wonderful guest. <coughs> we have a lovely headset, really customized, just for her. This is from Planet Drinks. Wow. So after that, we are giving you snappy snacks too. Thank you. So this is it. <laughs> so please open it so okay. that we would see so that there is really a headset in it. Wow. That's amazing. Hey. That's awesome. <laughs> Let me wear it before somebody yeah, takes it from me. Oh, nobody will take it from me. <laughs> wow. So are we seeing it in the next <laughs> music video? <laughs> oh, are you just doing music? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what song are you dancing to? I'm dancing to my own birthday song. Oh, Sele, it's a birthday. <laughs> Okay, Celestine, so we are wrapping up on the discussion segment of the Bambini show. Okay. What's your last words for parents and for children too? My last words for parents is that the children you have, whether you bought them or you adopted them, they are your family. Okay. And family is the best thing to ever happen to humanity. And so make your children your own friends and have a fantastic relationship with them where they can tell you anything and you can also communicate freely to them children, children. parents always love kids who are obedient mm -hmm. who obey orders who keeps their rooms clean mm -hmm. who keeps themselves neat mm -hmm. every child every parent is happy to see that the child is growing and by growing you know how to tidy you know how to talk mm -hmm. you know how to do your homework and organize yourself so please learn to please your parents okay by being good and doing good all right thank you very uh, much god richly bless you thank you parents be honest to your children mm. what you think they don't know hmm, already. they already know <laughs> So tell them everything and be honest to them. Before we leave you on the discussion segment, I'm still reminding you, please, will you be there a uh, expression? Yes, I, will, I won't miss it, but mm. I want to jump on those crocodiles. Yes, and take pictures. So Celestine will be there. Why won't you be there? The rate is at a cool 80 city. We are giving you fried rice and chicken. I'm coming with my girls. Oh, <laughs> we'll, we'll be there to welcome yeah, them, yes. girls, especially the six year <laughs> That one. <laughs> so this one too is free. I don't know whether it's a max. So you are getting this fried rice and chicken, snappy snack, planet drinks, bouncy castle. Um, Does it include transport? Yes, transport oh, okay. is included. So it's eighty oh, cd Very oh, you transport, see, transport, food, fried rice um, and chicken, drink. And Snappy, thing. this one too. Oh, that's cool. free Wi Fi in the STC bus. Wow, yeah, air conditioned, free. Wow. You are coming, that's yeah. okay. So it's going to be fun. Mike will be there, Boss Matthew, everybody. And I will be there, yes. So the will be things there. will be turning around for us. So come, okay. It's 80 CD. Our tickets are so ready. So, Please, so, so, the is it picture one or no, 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 real crocodile in the pond? Okay, yes, we, we are not fake, we are not joking. It's a real crocodile, so you see it. Okay, so the discussion we went to the said crocodile, we went, it was a drama. <laughs> nah, <laughs> this one is crocodile. no drawing, it's live. The crocodile is in the pond, chance to touch it, touch it, yes, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> So it's going to be fun. Okay. Celestine is going to be there, so be there. Mm -hmm. We thank Celestine for coming. Stay tuned. Up next is the Talent and segment. How well do you know your history? Do you know how our forefathers were captured as slaves? Join the Bambini Show team this Republic holiday as we trip on this amazing and historical excursion to Cape Coast Castle, Crocodile Pond at Hans Cottage. Activities include horse riding, dancing, swimming, 
boat riding and more surprises. Date 2nd July 2018. Rate 80 city inclusive of food, transportation and all fun activities. It's open to schools and individuals. So call 0558 218548 to register now. Let's go and have some fun. This trip is supported by Snappy Snacks and your jet jet planet, a world of taste. This place, our utmost priority. Bambini Bambini, Bambini. I'm a little children, it's Bambini. Come, let's learn in various forms. <laughs> Welcome to the Bambini Show. Today I'm going to do something little. When I say the Bambini Show, your response at home should be number one children's TV show. Yes, I am Rudy. Today we are right here at the Christ Ambassador School, your school of excellence. And we are having a culture day here at the school. My co-host here will tell us something little about what's going on here. So hello. Yes, yeah, so we are at Christ Ambassador School and I know you are happy and we are going to make you super excited. Yeah, you are going to be happy. Yes, I know that. And then they say culture is a way of life of a given society. So let's just go and look at what these kids have for us. They are going to exhibit their God-given talent and then challenge. So have you ever tried any culture dance at school before? <laughs> okay, I have I'm tried one. Go dance. Go. Is that all? Well, so today, what, what, what can you do? Uh, Agbaja. Agbaja. So today, we will check whatever is going on there and you will learn more about culture dance. So, let's go. Renee. Renee, wow, and you are? Jessica. Jessica, Jesse. Are you having much fun? Because I am having much fun. Oh yeah, we are having so much fun. The dances are very beautiful. Very beautiful. Wow. Yes. What about you? It's really fun. I like this dance very well. Really? So are you a student of the school? Yes, we are students. We are in class five. Class five, wow. So what are your expectations? What are you expecting more from today's culture day? I expect them to dance more dances. Dance. To make us happy. Do some and dance, let me some drama. Just Do some dance. <laughs> wow. Uh, and what about you? Expectations? I'm expecting to see more traditional dresses, more dances, because this dance is very beautiful and mysterious. And wow. I like it. Wow, wow. So they love the dance. The dance is serious. So I love it too. So have so much fun and have a good day. Bye. <laughs> program is a cultural day. The theme is origins. We want the children to learn more about their origins. We have children here from the northern region, Volta region, Ashanti region, here Accra, Greater Accra. So we are celebrating the rich culture in the, in the country and we've invited the National Dance Company as you can see. They've come to do various dances symbolizing different cultures, origins and traditions and they've engaged the children explaining each dance and its symbol, symbolism and impact. Yes, 
So I'm here with some of the pupils in Christ Ambassador School. Uh, what's your name? Benjamin Boham. Your name? Nibi Aloti Papo. Brandi Oh, that's nice. I love your costume. Who chose it for you? My mom. Your mom? My dad. Your dad? Hey, you. I myself. Oh, wow. That's so nice. What do you want to be in future? Uh, a lawyer. A lawyer? A pilot. A doctor. We have great people in Ghana, yeah. Our future is bright. What are you learning from them? I'm learning the culture of all the dances in Ghana. Okay. So what have you learned so far? I've learned more about my tribe. What? I've learned more about my tribe. That's very nice. Hello, we have some lovely teachers here and then they are looking very beautiful in their traditional outfit. So what are your names? Rita. Rita, Mama. Teacher, yes. Rita, Rita. And you? I'm Angela. I'm also a teacher. Teacher Angela. And the man? Teacher Andrews. Teacher Andrews. Wow, I love your outfits. So I want to ask, what your expectation of your kids and the show? We expect that the young ones will learn most of the dance moves and learn more about their culture. So like, Auntie Rita is dressed from the Santi region. And I'm from the Ga. This is the Airway. Oh, Airway. Yeah, that's great. No, most of us we don't know some of our dances, where we come from, the way we dress. So we are we are doing all this so that the children will know how Ewes dress, how they dance, some of the movements, how the dresses are, and just to have fun. What's your name? Laudina Kuzisakono. Aww, such a nice name. I love your dress. Mm, it's a costume. Wow. Who chose it for you? My mother. Aww, she's so nice. What do you want to be in future? A doctor. A doctor? So are you learning? Ah, uh, she said she wants to be a doctor. She's learning very hard. Okay, what have you learned over there? You see, there's something nice going on there. What have you learned? I've learned how to dance. Oh! Uh, so you like dancing? <laughs> about tradition what the children they are the children are also learning about uh, different cultures say brown and half old dance that is going on now and then the children are getting exposure of knowing how to use the beats and all that so. wow so are you really enjoying yourself are you happy your daughter is here and part of them yes i'm happy with the nature that i'm seeing wow. especially with the display of kente and and all that i'm very i'm so much happy that's why i'm in kente to support them <laughs> about today's program did you enjoy it yeah, was, uh, i enjoyed it a lot it was all about our culture to exhibit our culture to the other it was mostly about our anniversary and then to add up to the program we did something small about it okay so what did you learn today i learned a lot i learned about certain dances i never heard of like the sechi dance and all of those kind of things it was very educative I learned about more of some of the ethnic groups in Ghana. So what did you learn about the ethnic groups? Like for the guns, I learned how sometimes they dance when they are um, in a Deba or parade. Hello, so what did you also learn today? I learned that 
uh, one dance can be great, can be danced by other ethnic groups like the Bronga Hafu and the Western and the Asafu and the, the Gans and the Central. So what do you want to be in future? I want to be a doctor. Me too, what do you want to be in future? A lawyer. Because like it's something that I always like I always cherish it being a lawyer and that um, the subjects, some of the subjects that we learn, like citizenship education, enriches me more of how to be a lawyer. <laughs> Bambini Show has probably brought to you by Snappy Snacks and your Jet Jet Planet, a world of tastes.